What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video, we're going to see the current situation of the jailbreak as of October week 2nd. So let's get straight into that. For those of you who missed out some of my videos, I'm going to recap. And we also have some news coming up from Apple. I'm going to start with the extra recipe. I made a video a couple hours ago in which I told you about the KPP-less version of extra recipe. And um, if you missed that video, I'm going to explain it here. But I definitely recommend you to watch that one because it's more in depth in there. So pretty much Xerob, which is a, an iOS developer, has managed to create a branch of the extra recipe that pretty much doesn't have anything to do with the KPP. So it manages to patch some of the things required for the jailbreak without messing with KPP app. Now, KPP has been a problem for quite a while. It's uh, called kernel patch protection and has been introduced in iOS 9. This is present on the 64-bit devices and you need to bypass it in order to apply the kernel patches required for a jailbreak. Now, if Xero managed to simply apply the patches by working around the KPP without triggering the KPP, then that's definitely going to be good for the jailbreaking. We move on to the Saigon. Now, a couple days ago, Saigon has been released, which is an iOS 10.2.1 jailbreak. And uh, in one of my videos here on the channel, I have shown you how you can compile it yourself because you do need to compile it yourself because going ahead here on the website, there is absolutely no IPA available. So you need to go ahead in here on GitHub, click clone and download and compile it yourself. Now, uh, there are a couple things that are currently not working properly and uh, in order to fix them, the developer has to mess around a little bit with Ziva, which is the kernel exploit from Adam Donenfield. So for those of you who get um, errors from the IOKit or from Ziva, or from the sandboxing itself, um, it's pretty much a problem that is known and uh, it has to be fixed for the moment. So it's still not known if this jailbreak worked for anybody, but it is legit and uh, people are working on it and they are trying to fix the ZIVA um, exploit in order to get it working and in order to probably provide an IPA after that. So if you have a device on iOS 10.2.1 and you weren't able to jailbreak with Saigon for the moment due to uh, sandbox errors and stuff like that, do not worry, there will be probably a fix quite soon. People are working on it. As you can see, some of the things have been updated just a day ago. So people do work on Saigon. It just takes a little bit more time. The developer is relatively new to the community. We didn't have any jailbreak from him before, but he definitely knows what he's doing and he does receive help from the community. So that's a good thing in there. In other news, Apple has released the iOS 11.1 beta second just a couple hours ago. Now, this is of course for registered developers. As you can see from here, you have the iOS 11.1 beta second and it's available as a profile or of course as the IPSW. The release number is 15B 5078E. This is the uh, build number of the, uh, the beta 2 if you're trying to, to install it and it's been released on October 9th, 2017. These are a couple of the release notes that Apple um, are putting for the developers in there. And you can see there have been some bug fixes and of course some updates to the iOS 11.1 SDK. Now these are all required for the developers so that they can build applications and stuff like that. If you want to try iOS 11.1, you can definitely go ahead here on the channel. And I have a video that I made a day ago in which I show you how to get iOS 11.1 betas with no PC and no developer account. So if you want to check out iOS 11.1, go ahead and enjoy. Speaking about the channel, do not forget to go ahead and subscribe to stay updated for more news. And I really hope this uh, short recapping here helps those of you who couldn't simply watch the entire list of videos that I made in the past couple of days. It's really not a lot going on in the jailbreak community, but with the release of the KPP-less extra recipe and with Saigon being in the works, it's definitely something going on in there. So do not update to iOS 11 if you're interested in jailbreaks. Uh, would probably be a good idea to save your blobs for the iOS 11 because the lower you are on iOS 11, the better it would be if you're already updated. But anyways, for the iOS 11, it's unfortunate, but there is absolutely no development 
publicly available for the moment. I will keep you updated once something is out, so do not worry. That's pretty much it guys, that's our little update for the second week of October 2017. That's the current situation of the jailbreaking. Again, if you're interested in Cyclone, do not forget it's in the works and they do know that there is a problem with the sandboxing and with the ZIVA, so they are on it and they're trying to fix it. So just wait for that fix. We'll keep you updated and we'll show you how to apply the fix once it's available. Till the next time, I'm Geosnow. Subscribe to stay updated and peace out.